we doing today? Just a real quick test of background compression using a telephoto lens as compared to a wide angle lens. So what you're looking at right now is a full frame equivalent of 100 millimeters. Um, it's actually 62.5 millimeters on my APS-C sensor camera. And this is what the background looks like with um, 100 millimeters. So my next test is going to be bringing it down to 70 millimeters, which is another very popular um, portrait lens, uh, portrait length. So let's check the compression at 70 millimeters. All right, this is the full frame equivalent of 70 millimeters, which is 43.75 on an APS-C sensor camera which is what I have it set at right now. And as you can see, the background is not as uh, drawn in as it was before. It's uh, a little less big. It seems like the room is a little wider as we go to a wider side of uh, angle. So you're gonna notice um, as I drop down, I'm gonna go to another popular size. I'm gonna go to 50 millimeters. So a 50 millimeter equivalent um, focal length on the next shot. All right, so notice the difference in the background compression between the two. And we're going to do that right this very second. All right, this is the full frame equivalent of 50 millimeters, which at APS-C sensor size uh, is 31.25. And that's what I've had my camera set at right now. You can notice our area has gotten much wider in back, but yet I'm compressing too and I'm changing around. Uh, I'm getting a little bit longer. I could probably bring this shot in just a little bit more. You can see the size of my um, computer is about the same through all, but now I'm getting smaller, so I could probably bring the shot in a little bit closer to get um, as close as I was in those other shots. So my next one and last one is going to be 35 millimeters, which is another very possible, uh, very possible, another very popular focal length. Okay, so. We're going to do the APC, uh, the uh, full frame equivalent of 35 millimeters on an APS-C sensor camera. So let's check the compression on that one. And here we are at our final focal length. It is 35 millimeter equivalent on a full frame sensor camera, which is, hmm, what was it? 22? 22 millimeters on a uh, APS-C sensor camera. So this is a 35 millimeter equivalent, and you can see this is a huge wide frame we have here. Um, not even close to uh, what we had originally. You can see my computer top is about the same place as it was, but you can see I look much farther back and we have a much wider field of view. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. You know, I never uh, realized the effect of background compression with the uh, different uh, lenses, you know, whether you go from telephoto to um, wide angle. To be honest with you, I kind of like the way the telephoto lens looked uh, with, when filming. I was uh, set way back. I was probably 10 feet away, set it to the, uh, AP, uh, the uh, full frame equivalent of 100 millimeters. So I was probably about 10 to 12 feet away to get that shot. Uh, right now, I'm probably at about three and a half feet something like that um to have this shot but uh pretty cool i just wanted to check it out and see what the looks and the different looks were for the different uh um focal length sizes um just for fun really now if you're looking to see the differences between background compression this is a good video for you all right hope you all have a great day and we'll talk to you later we'll see you next time <music>